Hey everyone, we're here with Joey from Sourcetoad. Hi there. And so Joey, can you tell us a little bit about why uh, Sourcetoad wanted to get involved with this hackathon and what you guys do? Sourcetoad got involved with the hackathon because we like getting involved with the community. You know, to actually have a successful business, we need a successful technology ecosystem in which to work. And Tampa Bay actually is very well situated to become a tech hotspot. I want to see Tampa, and I think it has the potential, to be the Austin of Florida. And I think, I, I think it's absolutely possible. The people are there, the environment is right. Um, we just have to get over some geological barriers. The bay and the bridges are sometimes this mental barrier to people. And you know, they're sometimes hard to get people to cross the bay. Right? But if we overcome these few things, we do have so many advantages that yes, we could be a tech superstar. It's up to us to make it happen. And that's why Source Toad is doing it. We want to play our part. And so what is Source Toad too? Okay, Source Toad is a development shop. Uh, custom software for specific clients and lately we have been evolving to uh, do the hard stuff. So uh, serious data crunching, serving, uh, serving enterprises and really complex, uh, complex needs including medical, including advertising, and including hospitality. Okay, One hospitality in what way? Well, we work with a cruise line, and that's an interesting aspect because cruise lines are hospitality all in one package. They're not just ships. They happen to be hotels and restaurants and attractions and tourism all in one floating package. That's why this hospitality hackathon was interesting to us because this is right in our wheelhouse. You brought some ideas about what they could do with the data, but did you leave it open to them to kind of do whatever they wanted to? Or? We left it wide open. What we did was we brought data, but we also brought some interesting problems that the cruise industry is actually facing sure. and that we're a little too busy to tackle ourselves <laughs> because there, there, there's a lot of work to go around. But there are some problems that could actually be fixed. And, or, or at least, you know, you could develop a proof of concept for the fix over a weekend. Right. Yeah. And so what do you think of the hackathon so far? Oh, I think it's great. Uh, I have talked with some very enthusiastic people who are working on source code problems. Uh, they are bringing very interesting solutions. And not just software solutions, but software-hardware combination solutions, which is a fantastic thing to see at hackathons, especially now that we are in the era of the Internet of Things and ubiquitous computings. So are you looking forward to Sunday night's pitches and demos? Yes, I am. It's going to be great, and uh, the big boss, our CEO, Greg Ross Monroe, is going to be here to judge himself because, uh, one, uh, he's in charge of Source Toad, he really wants to see these solutions, and secondly, he wants to, you know, he, we're bringing in the $3,000 grand prize, he wants to see... <laughs> Yeah, he wants to see who that winner will be. Yeah, of yeah. course. And you know, it's fantastic uh, here at the Hackathon. Uh, the Iron Yard and Station House is a fantastic space. Uh, Chichio, a restaurant group, have provided fantastic food. This is the best, this is the best Hackathon catering I've ever had. The Tampa Bay Techies are awesome. And uh, I'm not speaking lightly here. I used to work with Microsoft Canada. I used to work with Shopify. I have probably been to six or seven dozen hackathons. Wow. This is a great group. Wow. Well, yeah. that's great to hear. And you know, a hospitality hackathon, we better step up with the food, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, actually, you have been the most hospitable hackathon. Uh, you fit perfect. Yeah, yeah you, fit, my heart. you fit the theme perfectly. Great. Well, thanks so much, Joey. Appreciate it. Thank you, Trey. Looking forward to tomorrow.